what's the benefit of something like that of getting into community or getting into public speaking getting out of that what what's the benefit that c- it can add to it? it's not not just about public speaking I'm, mm-hmm. I'm about just throwing yourself into things that are um uh, against your character that you that you want that you want to test yourself in and you want to get improve yourself in because you should you should have and they should be aligned with your vision what you want to reach so i want to reach this thing and i am i am totally uh, in my heart i'm totally with this thing what would make me reach this mm-hmm. so th- this is this is how how it works you you see the things that want you may reach even if, if it's against your comfort zone you just throw yourself in it Are you ready to unleash? I'm ready. I'm always asking my guests here, what is the percentage of unleashing today? More than 100%, yeah. You need to believe that it's more than 100%. <laughs> I believe 100%, yeah. it will. Yes. Fouad, I'm always asking my guests, before we start anything, I always got inspired by stories. And the moment that I, I said with you, your story hit my heart. When when you you just uh, spoke about it, so can you tell me the story behind working in a corporate and just at a certain moment of your life you left it and moved to open your own uh, your own company and pursue your entrepreneurship? What is the reason? The reason actually I I was thinking about it a lot. I've been planning for this for for more than a year. But I wasn't ready for it. Mm-hmm. And I was planning it will happen, but in the future. It came all of a sudden. And um, all of a sudden, I, I got uh, I got a call. You're not with us. From the uh, company that you work with? From the company, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the part that made it, uh, that I, I, I wasn't totally ready, is that just two or three months before that, mm-hmm. I asked them to leave, and they refused. <laughs> so this was this was the irony of it. So I planned everything. You know, the guys, the give me, give, uh, yeah. this is my plan. <laughs> and this, I'm talking about something that happened mm-hmm. early in this year, the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. It happened. Mm-hmm. So January this year, it was the the point where I knew I wasn't in this company. In February, I took it full time. From February till now, it's August. They are six months, mm-hmm. but they are. I cannot compare them to the last six years. <laughs> a, a lot of things really happened in, in, the, in this. What period. has happened? I discovered things uh, about myself. I discovered capabilities I, I wasn't aware of. When you're put in a situation, and hopefully there were, I had some support in the beginning, which which give me give me this this advantage, but. It's always um, much harder, much harder than you than you think. And um, when it came, I told I told you I I wasn't ready for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and those six months, what I'm I'm telling you, because when you're put when you when someone throws you in in the sea like this, <laughs> you have to you have to you have you survive you have to survive mm-hmm. and. Um, and the, really, the the point where uh, so in the beginning, I had some support. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it, you I, mean financially or financially? I had I had uh, so he's he's my partner uh-huh. cur- currently in the business, and uh, we've been doing some work uh, together uh-huh. in the, in the past years. Uh-huh. His uh, his name is Ati. I'll say uh-huh. I can. Uh, <laughs> I, I really th- thank him for this this support that he has given me, and he he had a company which is AdmireWorks. Uh-huh. It it wasn't doing very well, and and I had, I was passionate about something. I mm. I, I really wanted this to happen, and, and this is what I'm I'm working on day and night. Mm. And we'll talk about this. But mm. uh, so in the beginning there was uh, a cash injection. Mm. We were 
things were moving and I, I was taking it seriously. But till the point where, so you put plans and you, you have, you have an initial, initial budget and you, you put plans, but, um, things don't move as, as planned at all. Mm. And, um, you have to, you have to plan like three, four, five times worse than, uh, what, what you're, what you're planning. Mm -hmm. And the real point happened when, when cash dried up. Mm -hmm. This is, this is the point where I found myself a totally different person. What, when, what happened when, exactly? When cash dried up mm -hmm. and you're having, you're having employees, you're having a business that is running and you need to, uh, you need to get it going mm -hmm. and you don't have any choice. It, it gets another person inside of you. Another person that does whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. And whatever it takes, it means being flexible, being, uh, being working day and night and, and testing, testing many things, testing many things in the way you approach clients, in the way you do business. How I was, the day was waking up in the morning, having continuous meetings between calls and between physical meetings mm -hmm. in the middle trying to shoot a few videos to come, <laughs> to come up with content, <laughs> hiring a team, mm -hmm. building your process, doing a hundred things. And, and so we want to survive. To survive. I want to ask you here. Yeah. Did you have a moment in that yeah. time that you said, why shall I do all of this? I can come back to work for a corporate and just live the normal life that I have had. I didn't think about this for a second, although my close network they, they were pushing me in this direction but i, I didn't think why because i felt the risk mm -hmm. the risk of all of a sudden getting losing everything it, it, at least when you have a business you're growing it, it, it you cannot all of a sudden uh, lose your brand mm -hmm. the brand is something that that will last and and this is something that if if i if i go back I would be more in building my brand. I was already building it through the years, mm -hmm. but I would build it more so that I have it as an asset. Mm -hmm. This is the most important thing that will, will get you, get you floating and, and put you in the- Even middle. with financial constraints that you have had, said that you had like a challenge on the cash, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the worst thing that you can have as a business, as a business or an entrepreneur, that you have a tight cash. Sometimes I see a lot of entrepreneurs, but was not having a belief in what they're doing. Mm. They just raised the white flag on themselves. And they, they threw the idea somewhere. And maybe they come back to a corporate and find like a secure job. But again, why? 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 Why we stand all the... Oh, yes, why? Because what you believe in and, and this... Yes, if, if, if I didn't believe in what we're doing, I wouldn't have withstand this. But I, I, I believe in, and this is actually, it's something I am, um, one of the, the main things mm -hmm. I, I care about is the, the uniqueness and, and, the, and doing something that is really different. Mm -hmm. And when you have a vision for something that you want to build it, it, it totally changes. Even, even, even now, the, 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 the clients that we work with, whenever someone comes, I discuss with them their business. Mm -hmm. And if I find it is not unique, I, I try to see how we can make it unique. And I try mm -hmm. to convince the person if he isn't, if, if he is fixed on what he's doing and no, I, I want to do this, I usually uh, put roadblocks so that things don't, <laughs> don't move because, because we, we will not do good. I, I want to do things that are, that are lasting. I want to do things that are having a purpose behind them. Mm. And, uh, and this is the, the, the real, um, the, the real motivator yeah, for this. Yeah. What's the biggest struggle that you have had away from financials? Yeah. Once you took such a decision from moving from corporate into entrepreneur, I know it's, it was a moment of forcing, but what is the major struggle that you have had and what was the biggest learning? A struggle, this was the, this was a, the, a main struggle. Mm. I had other other struggles on the personal side that uh, 
but later to my 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 child and he were, were having plans and the plans have changed and mm -hmm. and th things like this in that moment so, yeah it, again uh, i really stress back to that point you have family right yeah and you have a commitment yeah didn't you have a time or just a moment that you said because of the commitment that i have from my family i need to come back and find a way maybe the easiest way is to come as you said from your network find another job and pursue it it's easy to do it alone yeah but how did you manage all of this when you have a family outside because this is the only way if <laughs> if 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 i'm um I'm, i'm trying to return back i'm i'm harming them um because you believe in what you're doing i believe in what i'm doing and i believe that as as i told you there there is no security at all in in working in a, in, a, in a job you can all of a sudden uh, leave and and i'm telling you the past six months they have been uh, more things totally transformed they've more things done than the past six or 12 even years because because of the amount of learning the amount of of things that are tried and tested uh, trial and error and, and and things that are going on it's it's amazing and and even with all the struggles with all the pressure you feel uh, you you feel pre pleasure and then a I, sense of fulfillment I, i i wasn't feeling it for a very long time for a very long time you, maybe the 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 time i was I had it was when I was back in Egypt and I was working on a side business and doing my own things. Uh, this is some comparative, but but uh, I, I didn't feel it before and uh, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying every day, uh, even with the struggles. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying building building something that will one day be one of the top 10 businesses worldwide. That's amazing, man. What is the biggest learning that you have had You said that you have a lot of learnings, right? Uh, from a corporate, right? And now you're an entrepreneur. What's the biggest learning that you have had as an entrepreneur moving from corporate to entrepreneurship? Um, as I told you, it's it it was a sudden a sudden move. So uh, the biggest learning for for someone who's who wants to make this transition <laughs> is to is to work work things on the on the side and and this is this is what uh, this is what actually made me able to to stand up as soon as i was laid off i was able to stand up quickly and then move things uh, quickly and um, thank god for the for the circumstances a lot of circumstances have happened all together that that helped me also in in, in this in this uh, journey but the main thing is that i was working on on this day I, I still wasn't ready, but I was working on this day, and uh, and this is something I've I've been doing since since I've started I've started I I don't like just working in I I like working for for a purpose I like working to reach reach something, and uh, I was always having something beside the job that I'm 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 working on, and and this gave me give me the 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 pleasure and I I was throwing myself in situations where I would learn, mm -hmm. and this is. I realized the benefit of all this when I when I when I left, even from like you can say ten years ten years back. I I was I was getting into communities and putting myself in situations against my character so that I I, I can learn. I I remember <laughs> I was I, I I was interested in leadership and in public speaking and in mm -hmm. this and. Uh, I my character wasn't wasn't that type, <laughs> so uh, I remember there was a community of um, it was doing uh, doing things related to uh, helping people in mm -hmm. villages and things like this. So I was I was in this community and I was participating and so on. And then they uh, they said we want to make uh, uh, want to have a team leader. Mm -hmm. So I I just participated. I want to be with you I, i i i failed i i participated again i failed <laughs> tried again then i was team leader and i managed and i was handling meetings and things so it, it was from the very small things mm -hmm. uh, even the community was was the to hammy passion to profit you yeah. know this is how i i, I knew to hammy is um i i kept although I, it was 
I was in in October, six October in, mm-hmm. in Egypt, mm-hmm. and he was <laughs> in the totally opposite side, like one and a half hours. You were going everything. But I was drawing every. Mm-hmm. It was every two weeks, mm-hmm. and I was going, and I joined with them in in the in the board in mm-hmm. the in the fashion profit, and I was. So you're always there. There's a, a lot of things. That, then uh, I started something, a community for public speaking, and we were organizing things. And out of your comfort zone, totally. Out of my comfort zone, but it was. Uh, I felt. I felt. <laughs> uh, pleasure for for doing it, yeah. and it. I discovered the benefit of all of this after after that. Yeah. What you have discovered, and because I was also in the same place. Yeah. If someone is listening to us right now, yeah. What is the benefit? Of something like that of getting into community or getting into public speaking, getting out of that. What What's the benefit that c- it can add to? It? It's not not just about public speaking. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm about just throwing yourself into things that are uh, against your character that you that you want that you want to test yourself in and you want mm-hmm. to get improve yourself in because you should you should have and they should be aligned with your vision what you want to reach so i want to reach this thing and i am i am totally uh, in my heart i'm totally with this thing what would make me reach this so th- this is this is how how it works. You you see the things that want you may reach, even if if it's against your comfort zone, you just throw yourself in it. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I what I found as you were talking about being uh, laid off, the the main thing, I I see this as as a gift actually. Why? I see it as as a gift because because a lot of things have happened in this in this very short period. Imagine if I if I delayed all of this, you will not take this path at all. I could take it, but why take it later if you mm-hmm. if you can take it earlier? And uh, the perfect uh, the perfect situation will not happen. You will you there will always be uh, requirements. There will always be things added on you. And and as 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 you as you grow, things will the responsibilities will keep increasing. They will not decrease. So the best time is to. But at the same time, I uh, because I I see a lot of people that that take this jump very early, and they even just after finishing college by mm-hmm. uh, one or two years, they they start to. Mm-hmm. The opposite side also is 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 not good. You, you mm-hmm. sometimes you're not ready. Uh, maybe you're ready. Maybe you, maybe you're twenty eight or thirty, and and uh, and you've gained very condensed experience that made you ready. Okay, but uh, but if you're working normally and. Uh, and this is the benefit. So, so now, um, and what what the traditional path that someone goes to his his job, and he does what's needed for him. He finishes. He just uh, clears his mind and and does whatever he, he wants that, and doesn't work on on something he he needs. It, and compare this to someone who does every day some something he 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 is passionate about and something he needs. When you reach thirty four, thirty five. The person who has been working on the site, you will be as if he has experience of a fifty-year-old. So, so it's it's not comparable, it, and and it, it's even more than this. Because in corporate, yeah. What is the best experience that you have had in in corporate, and it helps you currently yeah. in your own job or own company? I was actually. Uh, so I will tell you. I will tell you. I will start for you the story from <laughs> from the beginning because it's something that has uh, happened across across my uh, my career, in general since I was in in college. Mm-hmm. I was in college. I was uh, faculty of commerce uh, English department, and I specialized in economics. So when <laughs> when when you specialize in economics, it's in the third year you specialize. Uh, people were asking me, "Why are you entering economics?" Usually, people go to accounting, business. They were asking, "What are you going to comics? Are you going to work as a as a news anchor in Al uh, Jazeera?" Or <laughs> this was the only <laughs> the only job they had. Is the, the ideal place. <laughs> yeah, in their mind. Right. But I I liked it. I, I liked mm. economics. I liked that it 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 uh, uses the, the th- you think it's mm. not just something that uh, that you. All right. So I entered it because I liked it. After I finished college, I started looking for uh, job opportunities related to economics, something. Uh, then I realized that uh, okay, their question had had a point. I <laughs> I cannot find something. To work I was in. too much in love. <laughs> yeah. So I started to work as 
some some uh, w- jobs in the during college it was uh, te- technical analysis doing this in the stock market and doing things like that, things totally unrelated then i finished i started working in the marketing agency <laughs> totally different <laughs> career huh? yeah marketing agency then i i um, i left the marketing i spent four uh, four four and a half years mm-hmm. i left i i worked as business development in um, something related to programming and robotics mm-hmm. in egypt <clears throat> then I came to UE. I entered for the first few months in it was a marketing mm-hmm. in marketing and elite, but marketing related to events. And then all of a sudden I, I transitioned to they were starting a program. Mm-hmm. It was working with SMEs. Mm-hmm. So they, they were doing a complete program, doing everything for SMEs. So I started to get into this community and, and talk with startups, with investors and get into this area. After this they um the the owner of the business he was starting another business was in, into invest investing in startups so i started to i told him i'm with you in this i i, I like this path and we started to build it together mm-hmm. it was still covid in covid i moved to another business it was and this is the last business before making this jump it was into uh, retail and e-commerce i, I joined this general manager for the business in the ue mm-hmm. So they are every 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 jump. It's it's a totally different experience. <laughs> totally. So I'm gaining a lot of experiences, and uh, the main thing is is that you believe that all of this will come to a point and and mm. and help you help mm. you in 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 some way. And this is actually what, what happened is that all those experiences they are unrelated, but they in the end they they form a character that has passed through a lot of things that can that can uh, that can be resourceful resourceful and this is very important for uh, when you're starting a business yeah i love your energy i love your <laughs> your energy what is the vision that you have you have for your business when the main thing so so now the the, the business that i um, that I'm, I'm i've started and uh, I cannot say I started the business has been in the UE since 2009, but I took it in a totally different direction. Uh, so it was a branding business. Mm-hmm. I took it in a direction that I personally struggled with when working in the last business. I worked two and a half years mm. retail business. It's it's uh, it's been for 10 years and it's uh, it's already uh, uh, it's having branches, it's having everything, and we are dealing with marketing agencies and. Um, Every marketing agency, you find them, they are good at one area. The rest of areas, they are they are very bad at it. Mm-hmm. Not, not average, they are very bad at it. So when you're working on a campaign, you cannot... Uh, you, you Creative... Uh, yeah, you, 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 will mm-hmm. not, you will not find the performance that you need, the, mm-hmm. the success for the campaign. So what we did is... And, and I found that I am a people person. I, I like to communicate with people and... Uh, when working with startups, on the other hand, I found that the main thing that makes a business successful is people. And this is the the most underrated aspect of any business. They look at capital. We need to raise capital. We need to raise capital. Okay, you will burn this capital if you don't have the right people. It's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not like this. So, so I've, built, I've built the model mm. totally different. Mm. Mm. So when someone... In the beginning, when someone looks at our our team, he he tell me why are why is all of your team uh, recruiters? No, <laughs> you're a marketing agency. Why all of your team are recruiters? <laughs> now now, as the business is is growing and and we're having different things, so the percentage of recruiters is 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 shrinking a bit because we we need operations, we need things mm-hmm. to to manage. But the core that we started in is recruiters who mm-hmm. kept hiring recruiters and recruiters that are part of the internal team and recruiters that are freelancers and and those communicating with those and getting the best talents in the market mm-hmm. we started it with uh, and they work with you those talents they work with you as a freelancing or they work with you as permanent contract uh, it's it's a mix okay yeah, it's a mix so, mm-hmm. so some of them they are already and usually you start with them as freelancers then we find that they're very good so we get hired and we get them on board mm-hmm. So, um, so it, the core is talents. We started mm-hmm. with advertising because it's something that I found there is a need for it in the market. Mm-hmm. 
But my, if you are telling me about my vision, this is the starting point. My vision is to have this as the engine. So it's it's an engine of very creative talents that we can utilize in multiple businesses mm-hmm. and even partner with businesses with those talents. This is this is the main thing. And now we're even we're launching different sub brands in, in different different areas. Uh, I'm someone who's this causes me trouble sometimes because <laughs> I'm always coming with new ideas mm-hmm. and it causes on the financial side so <laughs> because when you when you're <laughs> opening opening too many mm. too many lines it's uh, <laughs> but, but yeah we, we, so we started admire eight this is for the advertising we started mm-hmm. uh, and our talently will be launching it soon for this so we started wow. something for personal branding something for this with different things that so talently for people wanting to build their own marketing teams, this for doing that. Mm. So this is the main thing, to be an engine of talents, to be a, a hub for talents. And it's it's a vision that's also coming with the changing market because what I see is, uh, and now with the, with the totally changing dynamic in the, in the workforce, especially when it comes to marketing, mm. in marketing agency, you're having very high uh, turnover rate, uh, the talents, the good talents, they leave the marketing agency whenever they find that they are, yeah, uh, they, they, they are good, they, they will be leaving the agency. Maybe they open their own agency. Usually, yeah, mm-hmm. usually they, they find that they can get mm-hmm. their own work. So, so we're a community, we work with different talents from different expertise, and we are very focused on building uh, a very robust process, operations process, and we, from the very starting day, we started, uh, we got someone to, to build for us the SOPs and then to, to give us as consultation to build mm-hmm. it. And now, now we're, we're building it. It's not something that is done once. We're continuously uh, improving mm-hmm. on it as, as we see so that we, uh, it's, it's like a hub, a hub for, for talents, mm-hmm. for very good talents. And uh, we'll utilize it, utilize it in different ways to build uh, really good businesses here. Yeah. Unleash is the bridge between my purpose and my mission and my mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential